We got some breaking news, y'all. Pittsburgh Steelers have hired Glenn Thomas as their new offensive assistant coach. We're going to get into Glenn and what he's going to bring to the Pittsburgh Steelers. But before we do so, please hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget, we give away game day tickets every year. Last year, we gave away the Steelers versus Vegas Raiders game. This year, we'll be doing the same to a lucky subscriber. I got to do the answers via subscriber and tune in. We'll be doing that much later on uh, in the year, but I do want to bring that up to everybody. So with that being said, let's get into it. So the Pittsburgh Steelers have hired Glenn Thomas, most recently the offensive coordinator for Arizona State in 2022. Um, he does have some NFL experience. He coached at, with the Falcons as an assistant coach and the team's quarterback coach from 2008 to 14. So given his experience as quarterback's coach and as an offensive coordinator, one can only assume that he's going to be possibly the passing game coordinator, a position that, you know, we've talked about here at State of the Steelers that maybe perhaps the Pittsburgh Steelers could benefit from utilizing. You know, last season, the Steelers offense, especially when it came to passing concepts and moving the ball down the field effectively, uh, was subpar. It was below average for majority of the season. At the end of the season, it did start to improve, but at the end of the day, it wasn't the best. And so, Matt Canada's come kind of under a lot of heat because of it. Now, his rushing game um, attack has moved forward in a positive direction. And so I felt that if the Pittsburgh Steelers can partner up Matt Canada's rushing attack with perhaps a more competent passing game, uh, the Steelers offense can put up more touchdowns and interceptions and be on the positive side of the uh, the points when it comes to uh you know, how many points the Pittsburgh Steelers gain per game and how many the opponents do. And so let's break down a little bit about uh, Glenn Thomas. So last season, he was a member of the uh, Arizona State Sun Devils as their offensive coordinator. Um, the um, <clears throat> well, it didn't go so well with them. The team fired Coach Herm Edwards after going one and two. Uh, the Devils would go on to finish three and nine, their worst season since 1946. And so um, it didn't go so well last season for them. But uh, let's look at a little bit about what they were able to do as far as stats goes. Now, Arizona State Sun Devils, let's, we'll share this real quick. They had a combination of two quarterbacks, Emory Jones and Trenton Burgut. And combined, they uh, completed 270 for 404 attempts, 323 yards, a 66.8 com you know percent completion, 7.5 percent average, 73 long, 18 touchdowns to 10 interceptions. It's not quite two to one, but it's getting kind of close. Uh, they were each quarter, not each quarterback, but they were combined sacked for 28 times. More so, Emory Jones, 21 of those. Then Trenton, who was only sack seven. And so combined had a rating of 139.4. In the passing game, it does seem to be competent, at least based on the stats. But again, this is Saturday football. So, you know, can it transition? You know, he did work under or work with closely with Matt Ryan. And so perhaps you know, earlier on in his career, too, when he was known as Matty Ice. And so uh, maybe perhaps he can. Um, get this passing game going despite the team's uh, inability to have a successful season last year. Uh, rushing, uh, the team totaled for 385 attempts for 1,623 yards for an average of 4.2 yards per carry and 21 touchdowns. And so when it comes to, you know, moving the ball and getting the ball in the end zone, it does appear that Arizona State was able to do so um back and forth fluently um you know is this the brian left which that probably everybody wanted somebody who's been proven somebody who's um taken a team or coached a team as an offensive coordinator in a super bowl no it's not but this is at least in my opinion a step in the right direction you know you have the rushing game that matt canada had that in my opinion was was fairly well especially towards the end of the season. You have an offensive line that's coming in and being built up together. That's going to allow this passing game to have an opportunity to allow plays to develop down the field so that way um, the ball can be uh, moved down the field more effectively and more um, not so 
predictable. And so, well, that said, I think it's a good signing. I know it doesn't come with the greatest record last season where he did, where he, where he coached at, uh, but hopefully perhaps maybe with the surrounding cast and the organization of the Pittsburgh Steelers, uh, this team can get going in the right direction. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this uh, acquisition. Do you guys, um, are you guys for it, against it? Let me know in the comment section. Uh, hit that like and subscribe on your way out. With that being said, I'm Daniel J. This is State of the Steelers. Peace.